must position the four pegs holes which support the structure. These holes must be dug and pegs positioned correctly before you attempt to raise the patrol shade. Positioning of the peg holes is determined by the footprint of the patrol shade model you are using. With the single quad fold, a footprint of 5 metres wide by 6 metres length is required. Once this area has been paced out, four holes must be dug into the sand at the depth of the sand peg's height. The holes should allow the sand peg to be aligned at 45 degrees away from the centre and facing diagonally opposite its counterpart. Anchoring the ropes around the pegs and tying off the cleats secures your position. You will need to ensure the cleat is on the right side between the peg and the patrol shade. A correct alignment is when the cleat straining knob is closest to the peg and sand. If it's positioned at the highest point and pointing to the patrol shade, it's incorrectly set up and needs to be moved to the other side of the peg. Just feed the cleat by shuffling the rope to the other side of the loop. Tie the rope off in the cleat grip allowing approximately half a metre of rope free. You can now bury the sand peg in the sand. Stamp down the sand and The shade is rated to resist wind gusts of up to 120 kilometres an hour and will not fail if the correct assembly instructions are followed. It's now time to join the four pipes until you are pro properly anchored to ropes. Once secure, on all four locations, the patrol shade can be then adjusted by using the cleat knob to strain off and tie. The patrol shade will tighten until all wrinkles clear and the surface looks like a tight drum. <laughs> 